In this video, we will take a look at how we can simplify a complex or compound fraction that has variables in the denominators. We will follow the same pattern that we saw... that we've seen before, where we have to first identify the least common denominator of the entire expression. The only denominators we have here are x squared and x. We'll use that factor of x with the highest exponent of 2 for our least common denominator. Then, to clear the little fractions, we will multiply each term by x squared. It is important to note we're not just multiplying each fraction, but each term. This includes the ones that are not fraction. As we multiply each term by x squared, we should be able to reduce the fractions. First, we have x squared times 1, which is simply x squared, minus the x squareds will divide out completely, leaving 1, over x squared times 1 is x, minus x squared over x, one of them will divide out, leaving just 1 times x, or x. While there's no like terms to combine, we always want to check to see if this reduces. We can reduce a rational expression by first factoring... Whoops, I think I lost my squared. x squared times 1 is x squared. There we go. By first factoring the numerator and denominator. The numerator, x squared minus 1, is a difference of squares, x plus 1, x minus 1. The denominator has a GCF of x, leaving behind x minus 1. We see the common factor of x minus 1 dividing out, and we get our final answer of x plus 1 over x for our solution. Let's try a problem that has a little bit more involved denominator. This problem, 2 over ab squared, minus 3 over ab cubed, plus 1 over ab, all over 4 over a squared b, plus ab, minus 1 over ab. We can solve it in the very similar fashion by first identifying the least common denominator. The factors we see in the denominator are a and b, and we will attach the highest exponent. The highest exponent we see on an a is squared. The highest exponent we see on a b is cubed, and so a squared b cubed is what we will multiply each term in both the numerator and denominator by. This includes the ab, which is not a fraction. We're multiplying each term, whether it's a fraction or not. Now, we can go through and look at reducing. The first fraction, 1a divides out, leaving 1a behind. 2b's divide out, leaving a b behind, giving us 2ab minus 1a divides out of the center fraction, leaving behind 1a, and all 3b's divide out, leaving 3a. Plus, 1a divides out, and 1b divides out, leaving b squared, so we have a, b squared, to finish our numerator. In the denominator, the a squareds divide out completely, and 1b divides out, leaving 4b squared. Plus, no fractions in this middle term, so there's no reducing. We simply have a cubed, b to the fourth, as we add the exponents, minus... 1a divides out, and 1b divides out, leaving 1ab squared. And now we've cleared the complex nature of the fraction, leaving this simple fraction. Normally, we would want to try and factor this expression to see if we could do any reducing. Outside of factoring out a GCF of a in the numerator and b in the denominator, this does not factor and therefore does not reduce. So we can leave this as our final solution. Identify the LCD and multiply each term by it to simplify our fraction.